right, so a year ago I was working at Coursera and I decided that actually, you know, that was cool, but what I really wanted to do was work for Khan Academy on their CS curriculum. So I conveniently ran into their engineers on the Caltrain, I forked all their repos, I stalked their engineers on Twitter, I was a little obsessed, but I really wanted it. So, uh, you know, after they reviewed my resume, they set me up for the interview with a with an engineer, and I was thinking, okay, how am I gonna prepare for this interview? Well, they probably think that I'm some sort of JavaScript expert, so I spent Friday night reading the ECMAScript spec, because that was a fun night. Um, and part of me thought, like, okay, maybe maybe I should keep studying, I should keep studying, I'll keep studying, and then, you know, wait until I'm 100% confident, but I, you know, that could have taken months, or it, I'd probably just never feel 100% confident, and I also had a full-time job that I was still working on where I was doing the same thing. So that's all I did. So we finally, you know, I had the interview. I was sitting on my bed, hot SF day, uh, do the Skype call, and uh, we set up the Stipey. And he asked, the interviewer asked me to write the code to solve a pretty simple question with some math and logic. So then I froze. I stared at my wall. It's white, see? And, and uh, I, didn't, I didn't immediately know the answer to the question. So I just, I froze and I broke down. And I, I could hear the interviewer, I could hear him breathing on the phone. And I knew I was supposed to say something, but I, I just stared at that red hang up button and I thought, oh, well, I could just press this button. And then, and then he would go away and I would just forget about that ridiculous obsession and convince myself I didn't really want it anyway. And, uh, and my, my palms, they started getting really sweaty because it was one of these rare SF hot days. And the, the, these tears, the tears started welling up in my eyes. And I knew that you know, time was going by and I, I really, I had to do something. I had to make a decision. We couldn't have silence forever, right? So eventually I decided, okay, all right, I'm just gonna, it'd be stupid to hang up. So I just choked out like, listen, I'm sorry. I've literally thought nothing for the last five minutes. I've never coded on the phone. And, uh, and the interviewer understood. So he guided me through it, he urged me on, and the whole time I kept wanting to throw in the towel. I kept wanting him to let me off, to say, no, 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 it's okay, and for me to just be able to give up and, 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 and forget about all of it, because I was just, I hated it the whole time. And I actually had to code through tears. I was like, I can't see, I can't see through the tears. So, but then finally the interview ended, and then I really started sobbing. It was just, oh, big, big ass sobs. Because I was thinking to myself, like, man, I just got off the interview with the job that I think is perfect for me, and I bombed it, and I cried. Um, but somehow, after my existential crisis, I, I wake up the next morning, and they say, hey, your next interview. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Why did you let me get away with that? That doesn't make sense. But somehow I did. And then I decided that the most important thing for my next phone screens was confidence. So even if I didn't have it, I was just going to fake it so that I didn't mentally run away, and hopefully I would make it through them. So, you know, in the end, uh, it, was, it was actually a happy story. I got the offer. I've been working there ever since. But... I wonder, you know, what would have happened if I didn't make it onto that second interview? What would have happened if I'd cried during every phone screen, <laughs> right? And then I wondered, like, are other people in this process too? So I wrote a whole blog post on it and got, you know, thousands of page views and comments and, every, and lots of people saying, yeah, I feel that way too. I, I also, you know, broke down and cried. It's like, so then I wonder how many people are not getting the jobs that they have the skills for because they can't make it through this process. So yes, I could have prepared for the interview better. We, you know, I omit that. But I also think that there are inherent flaws with both the content and the format of technical interviews, and we can figure out ways to fix them. <laughs> so you know, the thing is, firstly, the you know, we don't. This is not how we do it on the job. We don't code solutions over the phone. We we you know, we mull over them. And a lot of times, the problems we're facing aren't problems that actually even have one right solution. They have many. So we have to like think about possible ones. We talk with our colleagues. We Google and see what other companies have done. Then we code it. And then the content. So on phones, on phone interviews, you usually ask to do algorithms. And I, you know, I thought I had so much fun in my algorithms class from college. Edelman was my teacher. Um, but I don't use that for most of my job. I use like front end and debugging and beautiful architecture. So many companies are experimenting with other ways of doing the interview process. So one thing we're experimenting with at Khan Academy is the take home interview, right? They get to take it home. They get to spend a couple days, 10 hours, whatever, and then they get to put it on a repo and send it to us. And so it's an opportunity to see what kind of things we work on and for them to be in a more natural environment. Uh, other companies are actually inviting candidates to spend a week with them to actually just be an engineer. Like how, what would it be like to work for you a week? Maybe it'd be awesome. Maybe it'd be horrible. 
but that's better than find it after months. So I think that the technical interview is a, you know, this is an unsolved problem, and this is something that we can figure out together. And I actually put on a session tomorrow, so if you want to talk more about it, come to the session. Yay. Yeah.